I'm just going to do my shitty Yoda impression and then we can break down the new Star Wars trailer. Here it goes. Ah, this trailer alone is better than Attack of the Clones it is. Hey there guys, how are you? So Star Wars is finally back. It's been a while, and you can call those things that came out in the mid 2000s Star Wars movies, even though to me they weren't quite up to par of what they should have been. But anyway, with all that said, I just want to hold on to my three foot tall stormtrooper for the next few seconds. I don't know why, I just, holding this just makes me feel better about who I am and what I'm doing in life. Okay, I'll put it there. Okay, so the trailer opens up on this desert planet and you hear this dark, eerie, creepy voice. It almost sounds like Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? And then out of nowhere, actor John Boyega pops up and he's wearing a Stormtrooper costume. Now, this would lead me to believe that there's one of two possibilities. At this point in the Star Wars universe, Stormtroopers are no longer clones, or he's just simply wearing a disguise of a Stormtrooper costume to get to where he was going at one point in the movie. So yeah, we'll leave it up to speculation at this point. And then we get a really cool shot of a little drone that looks like a soccer ball rolling across a desert planet. And look at the background right there. Yeah, look at those out of commission pod racers. So in this shot, we see a desert planet and pod Pod racers in the background, I'm willing to assume that this planet is Tatooine, the home of Darth Vader, the biggest badass in the universe. I'm looking at you, buddy. I'm looking at you. Join the dark side, you will. I am your father. Mm. Now before we continue on and I break down the rest of the trailer, I first wanted to mention this. From the few scenes we get early on in this little teaser trailer, it's obvious that J.J. Abrams switched up his directing style just a little bit to coincide with that classic style of Star Wars. And I really appreciate things like that. Yeah, because the camera's not shaking all over the place, there's not lens flares all across the screen every five seconds, and he's really paying tribute to the way that the original Star Wars films were made. And I like that the camera can actually stay still here and there throughout a movie, and then when you have a big action scene, yeah, follow the action, go with it. But lock the camera down and stop shaking it like you did in the Star Trek movies. Even though I, I kind of do like the Star Trek movies. But yeah, we're talking about Star Wars, let's get back to the point. Alright, so in the next shot we see some X-Wing fighters flying across some water, and the shot that they show of the pilot in the cockpit, I like little things like that. Just little cues of how they originally shot their first movies. And then, this teaser trailer goes to the dark side. We see a shot of a mysterious figure wearing a cloak, walking through the woods, and all of a sudden he pulls out something that's pretty badass and awesome. Look at this fucking lightsaber! Just look at it, man! Now, I wouldn't say that's the most practical thing ever, because it just feels like you might get injured using it. This new incarnation of the lightsaber, it kind of looks like an old medieval sword, and I like that. It also reminds me of something else. Has anyone ever seen the movie Pineapple Express? Yeah, it looks like the cross joint from Pineapple Express. And then we get the money shot of the trailer. This is the shot, if you're a Star Wars fan, this is the shot that gave you goosebumps, it made your nips hard, and you just wanted to scream like a little girl. Yeah, it's the shot of the Millennium Falcon flying through the sky. And then the Millennium Falcon flies past two TIE fighters about to go into action. So yeah, that's uh, anticipation level is at 120% right now. <sighs> so what are my final thoughts on the new Star Wars teaser trailer? Well. I would say some of my concerns were put to rest, and that is J.J. Abrams isn't bringing his typical style to this movie. And I think the shots that they show in this teaser trailer, though they don't show a lot, they show just enough to get the viewer intrigued without giving anything away whatsoever. And you can see that they're paying homage to the original way that the original Star Wars movies were made, and that's what I wanted to see. Yeah, sure, put a twist on it and your own flair and style, but don't deviate too much from the originals. You know what I want to do? I just want to hug Chewbacca. Think how soft that would be. Like he's, he's like a big soft dog. I just want to hug him and take him for a walk. Just forget everything I just said for the last five seconds, okay? That didn't happen. So anyway, guys, yeah, I love the new Star Wars teaser trailer. It's everything I wanted to see without giving too much away. I mean, sure, there's a few money shots I'm sure they could have shown, but you know what? Savor the flavor. They're gonna come eventually. So anyway, guys, here's my question. You let me know down below. What did you think about the new Star Wars teaser trailer? What did you guys notice about the trailer? Yeah, let me know your thoughts, your opinions down below. And as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.